about to show you how to break down three whole chickens and make a brine for some yummy backyard barbecue fun. It's time to break down some birds. Hey, quick update for you guys. Uh, anybody that was paying attention a couple of days ago to the pressure washer incident, I'm going to give you an update here. Take a look at that. You see that? Boom. Yeah, so. It's gross. Yeah. So that's what happens um, when you get a uh, 3200 PSI pressure washer pointed at your body. Don't do it. <laughs> so i got three birds here. One, two, three. These are from the Crouch Ranch. And we're going to a party tomorrow. We said that we would bring some birds. And I'm going to park these out. And uh, several people have asked us to make a video of how we park our birds out. So we figured, hey, this is a great chance to do just that. Give it a little rinse here. You know, we, we rinse them before we package them, but you can never clean anything too much. All right, so when I break a bird down, I always do it the same way. I breast it out, I remove the wings, I remove the leg and thigh as a whole piece, and then I break the thigh and drumstick. Uh, so uh, the first thing we're gonna do is just, there's a bone right down the middle of the breast. We're gonna just hug the edge of it like this and follow it down. I'm just kind of riding on the edge of that bone right now. Okay, coming all the way down. And keep in mind, I'm not a butcher. I've not been to butcher school. Somebody out there uh, is saying, dude, you don't know what you're doing. That's cool. If you got a better way of doing it, do it your way. I'm showing this to the people that don't even know how, like, just want to know how I do it. Okay, so once I get this breast off, right here, I peel it right out of the skin. Peel it right out, see that? Just peel it, just leave that skin there. Boom. Boneless, skinless breast, okay? Then... drop it in there. Boom. Then I'll come over here to the next one. Right down the other side of that bone. Hugging that bone. Unless you have one of those rare one-breasted chickens. Right. You don't want those. Yeah. And um, on the inside of the breast, I was talking a minute ago and I didn't show you. There's this weird like piece of cartilage that's attached to the breast. So after I separate the breast off the bone out here on this point, then I have to come up back up under here and get that off. You see, if you see what I did there, see that little piece? That's, that You don't want to leave that on the breast. So then I come on down again, get the breast all the way off, and I just peel it right out of the skin. You know, if you want to keep the skin on there, you can cut it off uh, with the skin on, but I don't want the skin. Boneless, skinless breast. Okay. And we're going to take the carcass afterwards and make a stock, so we're just leaving everything right. on it that we can. So now, you see this, this leg is kind of trying to, the whole leg and thigh is trying to separate from the body already. Okay. I'm just going to follow that. All right. And you see that white bone right there? That's what I want to break. So I pop it loose, see how it came out of the joint? And then I go right around it. And that's it, my thigh is now off, okay? That's the whole thing. So now, if I just follow this V straight down, okay, I should hit right into the middle of the joint and separate the thigh from the drumstick. Now, I leave the skin on these because a lot of people like the skin on these and let people make their own choices on that, all right? Over here, I'm just going to disarticulate this wing. Again, I'm just looking for where it's... He said disarticulate. Right. And that's it. Okay. Uh, I might clean up that little... No, I'll just leave it. That's, that's your chicken wing right there. Ain't no thing Other but a side, chicken wing. I'm just going to do the same thing. 
I'm gonna follow what's natural, what's naturally going on here. I'm gonna break it open, see how it disarticulated, your favorite word there again. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna just get inside there and go around it. Well, my favorite word's cloaca, but you're not gonna be disarticulating the cloaca because that'd be weird. That'd be weird. And again, right down the middle. And I'll leave that skin on there. I'll clean off that little bit though. All right, and again, the wing. I don't have a real preference, to be honest with you, on uh, which knife I use for this. I kind of, uh, I, I like the smaller chef's knife, but I like the larger chef's knife. This one is a Wushtoff. This one is an Ikea. <laughs> And then I've got a butcher knife if I need it. Probably won't. This guy right here is gonna get set to the side. I don't have a side to set it to. Um, sure I do. No, this will work. Okay. Put it in the lid, we'll rinse that out. Right, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll have a drink of my Negro Modelo. Very important to stay hydrated during the cooking process. Absolutely have to stay hydrated. I want everybody to look up the word cloaca. Don't do it. It's my favorite word. Google. Google's gonna mess with you. Cloaca is the best word. It's like the best thing. Cloaca is the all-purpose hole that all poultry have that all the waste and eggs and That's a fat bird. Things happen. Right oh, there. don't splash me. Smacking your meat around. Yeah, that's a fat bird. I bet he had cojones. Uh, it's a little cold, which is all right. I mean, it's better than warm. Then again, that piece of cartilage that I was talking about, I'll find it right here and just come back up this way. There it is. All right. I don't even know if it's cartilage. I'm not, like I said, did I say I'm not a butcher? I just do it. Not a mechanic either. I just do it. You're referring to when you just did the tractor the other day? Yeah. <laughs> that was fun. Oops. Skin. Good looking breast right there. Hello. Come on. She can cut it. <laughs> yeah, the tractor was a mess. That was a nice, fun day, wasn't it? Mm. Matt and Mike with their heads buried underneath the tractor for a better part of a really hot Sunday. Yeah. I had, I had other plans that day. Right? Rolling it out of the... In there. Keep those doggies rolling ride. Boom. Chicken breast. Damn. Some carnage going on over here. So I guess <clears throat> since I'm actually paying attention, I do have a preference I'm noticing. I noticed that I like this little knife for the breast and I like the bigger knife for the thigh, and that kind of makes sense because of the reach that I need. So, there you go. It's a little frozen. Because we got it in the freezer. Well, I took it out of the freezer and put it in the fridge, but I think they were all huddled up together in the fridge. Oops, I missed. Whack at it again. That's when you need the big cleaver and you just go. No. Because then it's super impressive and then you lose a finger. And that's you just need true. to hit the spot. That's what she said. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. What's your superpower? My superpower? I can make anything dirty. Yeah. You, you can make anything dirty. <laughs> mm. 
a gift. If only I could use my powers for the forces of good. The forces of good yeah. would turn evil if you tried. <laughs> Boom. Boom. Don't forget, it's very important to say boom after you cut each piece of the chicken off. Otherwise, it, the meat won't taste right. Right. It's in the instruction manual. Don't forget to say boom. RTFM. There's an instruction manual? Yeah. Oh, I missed the spot right there. Look at that. Yeah, she's very disappointed about that. <laughs> there it is. Oh, he found it. He is redeemed. Chicken wing. Chicken wing. Got that one though, didn't I? Boom, boom. Watch out, I'm coming over you with some oh. dead carcass. I Actually, think, these, I feel like the plural of- These pieces of skin, of what I'm gonna do is keep those with the carcasses <laughs> because uh, those are gonna get boiled into, we're gonna make stock out of those. Yeah, I think, I think that the plural of carcasses should be carc eye. And I know that's not right, but that's what I believe it should be. Because it sounds more official. What? Whoa. Hey. Quiet on Lundy. the set. <laughs> Settle down, Lundy. Hey, hey. Go lay down. Lundy. Go lay down. Good girl. Good girl. She gets riled up when Mama Kitty likes to flaunt herself outside the window back here in the evening sometimes. Mama Kitty brought me a dead mouse yesterday when we were in whoa, the whoa, Brought us a dead mouse. She brought me the dead mouse because I hey. stood there for like 20 minutes and fed her treats and pet her. So I'm pretty sure that mouse was meant for me. Alright. So I shouldn't tell you that I ate it? Well, then I should take you to go get your rabies shot, I suppose. I don't think you can get rabies that way. Well, I don't know. Probably not. But you probably have like the bubonic plague or something now. What? Mm. Or at least like Botulism. something. Good times, either way. This is the way we carve our meat. Carve our meat. Carve our meat. Everybody! No? You ain't right. You say that to me at least twice a day. Well, why is that? Uh, I want to take note. Okay. Yeah. I just think that means you need to drink more beer. Mm, hearty har har. Chicken breast. Chicken breast. That's my leg. Don't worry. Nothing's attacking me. Just my leg. I like that Christmas song. Maliki luck. You know what I'm talking about? No. I never know what you're talking about. Maliki luck of me is the thing to say. You know that one? No? It just made me think of that. This bird's a little too frozen, but we have to get it done anyway because... Because I have to marginate. I have to marginate my mate. I have to rub it with herbs and spices. And liquids from foreign lands. Nest paw? Alright, take that out. There you go. There's it. Boom. Almost Don't forget to say boom. I mean, I've got to say the boom. You're like all work and no play, Jack. You don't even talk when you're doing this. What am I supposed to say? Something other than boom. I'm gonna make another Entertain cut the on truth. another piece of meat. I'm just showing off my skills, you know. Oh my god. Ooh, I almost cut myself right there. Did you see that? Oh, well, yeah. That's, that's close. That'd be your skills right there. <laughs> You're good at slicing into yourself. If there's one thing yourself. I'm good at, it's cutting myself. <laughs> right? We know that already. Yeah, they actually know me by name at the emergency room, I think. No. I should take them some chocolates or something. They're not that bad. Usually, you just patch them up around here. No. Just put Windex on it. Put just Windex. Send you on your way. There you go. So look, if I wasn't filming, I can actually break these down pretty quick. Actually, I feel like this was pretty this quick. This was pretty quick. 
but um, if you get a little bit of practice, this is only three birds right here. If you get yourself, you know, a dozen meat birds, and you know, do a little small operation, raise them yourself, and clean them yourself, and butcher them yourself, by the time you get done with that dozen, you know, you'll feel like, okay, I can do this, and next year you might do more. And you know, if you're the average family, um, the average family should easily be able to eat a bird a week. A lot of them can eat more than that, but a bird a week is 52 birds. So, that's a decent, you know, that's a decent little crop. You get yourself a chicken tractor, you get your 50 birds out there, you process them yourself, you put them in the freezer. You freeze some of them whole, you break some of them down, you, you make, make some stock. stock. You, you know, you, you can some of that stock, you freeze some of that stock. You, you put use your right foot in, you put your right foot out, put your right, right foot in, and you and don't forget to do the off. hokey pokey. That's right. All right, so what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to watch Sid make a brine for all this. Is it brine? You call it a brine? Well, I'm doing like, I'm yes, I am doing more of a brine, but it's not a complete brine. Okay, let's let's switch to Sid. You guys ready? Watch this. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You just spent 20 minutes boring these poor people? No, no, no. I'm not following that. I want my own video. I want my own video. Alright, so the next video is going to be making the brine for these chickens that we just broke down. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that little bell so you get the notifications when we go live or post something new.